my name is Dylan Meyer. I go to school at Eckhart College down in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm going to be a junior next year, and I'm studying marine geophysics and computer science. I've been on the water all my life. My dad was a sailor. He worked on boats for a number of years. And so as long as I can remember, we've had a connection with water. And it's great to be able to get out here and learn the ways of the sea, celestial navigation, and actual sailing. All the way, Main Street. All the way, Main Street. I was uh, originally going to be on S224 from Hawaii to San Francisco last summer. But about two weeks into the academic program, I uh, caught mono. So uh, I'm making up that trip now. I am the only student aboard. So uh, I'm here for academic credit and because I really wanted to get out to sea. All right, so let's look, go back and look at your equation. The project that I'm working on with Dr. Giora is testing the effect of wind stress on plastic distribution within the mixed layer of the ocean. Uh, specifically, testing the theory that increased wind speeds will suppress plastic into that mixed layer and make the data that we're getting from the Neustadt nets, which only test the upper six inches of the ocean, be an inaccurate number for how much plastic is actually in the ocean. Dylan and I are going to go to the top of the foremast to measure exactly how high our anemometer is, our wind, the device that measures the wind speed, by running a tape measure up. All right, that's a, we got four feet. Add four feet. Okay, 92.2. So Dylan, tell us, uh, like, what did we do with the tape measure just then? Um, we were measuring the exact height of the mast from the anemometer down to the sea level so that we know the exact calculation that we need to correct, to standardize our wind speeds. And where do we want those wind speeds to get standardized? Uh, 10 meters above sea level. I'm really excited to be doing this. I feel as though um, I'm actually a part of something that is important. I do have a, a sincere love of the ocean, and I would love to do anything I can to make sure that it, it is, uh, stays clean and stays safe for all of the wonderful animals that we enjoy.